Hi friends, welcome to this exciting training session being conducted by TNV Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the first class of ISO 45001-2018 scope of the standard. So let's begin our detailed and enthralling session. The first class of ISO 45001-2018 tells about the scope of the occupational health and safety management system. Here it's very important to note that the class 1, 2 and 3 of ISO 45001-2018 are introductory in nature and not requirements to be evidenced in the organization. They just give preliminary information about the standard and a picture of what purpose this standard serves. Friends, as and when an international standard is drafted, the first idea is to give a clear picture to its users as to what purpose the standard will be serving to them. The scope of a standard describes its purpose, meaning, applicability, controlling measures and operational attributes. Every ISO management system standard helps an organization to establish, implement, maintain, continually improve a standard which either they are wishing to implement or have already in place. If we talk about the scope of Occupational Health and Safety Management System as per ISO 45001-2018, then it also helps an organization in establishing, implementing, maintaining and continually improving the Occupational Health and Safety Management System which is either operational within the organization or they are in the process of implementing it. If we want to understand the purpose of Occupational Health and Safety Management System in simpler terms, then we say that it helps an organization to prevent its work environment, people and resources from hazards related to Occupational Health and Safety. Occupational Health and Safety Management System enables an organization to integrate all the aspects of health and safety related to its workers' health and well-being to reducing risks and eliminating hazards from its functions and processes. Occupational Health and Safety Management System does not address the issues such as product safety, property damage or environmental impacts but rather dedicates itself in creating a healthy working environment across an organization. ISO 45001 is aimed not only providing a framework for an occupational health and safety management system, but also on the explicit prevention of work-related injury and ill health and the provision of safe and healthy workplaces for the employees. This is fundamentally different from OSHA's 18001, which was the earlier version of the Occupational Health and Safety Management System and which aimed to support and promote good OHS practices and provided organizations with the elements of an effective Occupational Health and Safety Management System. Friends, I hope you all must have understood the scope of ISO 45001-2018 standard. At this point, we conclude our discussion today. See you again with an exciting new topic soon. Till then, it's me signing off. Goodbye and thank you.